Hello, my star shines. I hope everyone is having a lovely day, night, whatever, wherever you are in the world. Now, we're getting into it. Inktober, part three, the last of the Inktobers. Are you excited? I'm excited. Near the end of Inktober, I was dying, but it's fine. And what I mean by that is, um, I was getting very burnt out. Not that I didn't have ideas, I was just tired of drawing every day. <laughs> Even though they, like I said, I normally do an hour, but I wasn't doing anything else. So wasn't doing anything else it was literally like oh i have to draw and it's like why do i do this to myself every year i don't know so anyways let's get into the last of these dang on inktober so that we can get some new content up in this biatch all right we're going with 21 fuzzy yes it looks like one of the little thingies from studio ghibli and that was exactly my point but i couldn't remember what it was called because i just did it real fast because i was having a really busy day i still love him I love the little derp like chicken leg looking things on these things. Moving on, number 22. I hated this piece. It was open, but I was really proud of that little tiny steak I drew. I mean, look at it, a little tiny steak. I don't know, listen, I know I could have just done a door, but I was like, ah, yeah, do a cage for literally no reason other than just do a cage. But frankly, I didn't like this piece. I just don't like this piece, but Inktober, you're not, you don't have to like everything you do love this piece 23 the word was leak l-e-a-k but i'm me and therefore what i could really think of after trying a few things was there's a leak in the boat from cloudy with a chance of meatballs if you haven't seen the movie that one this is from the second one if you haven't seen either of them i suggest you watch them i like them and i love the leak and i like the pickles in the second one too if you haven't seen it the pickles are boss anyways moving on <laughs> Number 24, really did like this piece, uh, which was extinct. So I drew a giant sloth and this is actually how I do like my sketching for hair and stuff normally. Like I, my pieces tend to have detail, but not detail, you know what I mean? So I like the implied hairs kind of thing, but, and I did notice I forgot like, but I tried to use a little tiny kitty cat for reference and I kind of wish I had made the cat smaller because he is a big boy but i really like this piece and this is actually how i tend to do my sketches for animals and stuff like i actually used to draw animals all the time and i this is normally how the sketches end up going for them and please ignore my little derpy tree like scriggles or everything <laughs> all right moving on to another one of my favorites 25 which was splat can you guess why it's one of my favorites oh yeah it's an egg I got to draw everything I like drawing here. I drew, I've drawn a strawberry, I drew lemons, and now I've drawn a splattered egg. This isn't normally how I draw my splattered eggs or like when I draw eggs, but I normally draw them in this consistency of like somewhat cooked, but not, you know, and over easy. Is that what it's considered? I don't know. But either way, I still really liked how this turned out. Just something about, <laughs> something about drawing eggs and then adding color to them. It made it so much better. I just had a good time, you know? I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Apparently my hand had like a stroke. Moving on. Going to the connect. Well, I had started a few ideas for this, hated all of them. And so my other thought was, let's do two leaves connected together and some bright sun behind them. And I used this fun little water texture brush to give like kind of veins to the leaves. Cause you know, we're not spending a whole lot of time on these. And, but I, you know, I'm still kind of happy with how it turned out. Nothing super detailed, nothing super serious, just two leaves connected together. I think they turned out pretty decently. Alright, going to number 27, Spark. Again, this is one of my favorite electric Pokemon, Ampharos. I can't pronounce things, but anyways, I love them. And when I was thinking about Spark, I was just kept thinking about electric Pokemon. And I was like, I haven't drawn Ampharos in a very, very long time, but I had to keep it more in the Pokemon style because anything else would have taken me way too long so for time's sake we just did our simple boy but I still love how he turned out he's so cute I love I like Pokemon they're so cool moving on to number 28 crispy uh <laughs> self-explanatory is a chicken leg um I just drew a base and then I took a really rough texture brush and I did all these different color layers and that's pretty much all it is I am both unhappy and happy with this chicken leg at the same time it kind of makes me a little hungry not gonna lie but it is also early when i'm recording and i have not eaten the breakfast or anything yet so that would explain why i'm a little hungry 
also all i can think of is that tiktok audio where it goes like the chicken wing chicken wing hot dogs and baloney not taking all because i don't want to get you know taken down anyways next one we have patch and what better thing than a pumpkin patch get it get it they're pumpkin patches <sighs> i wish i hadn't done the dirt bottom on this but i love it also i will tell you this too the lighting is definitely not the same as if you go see the pictures on my instagram or my tiktok um just because you know i was using natural light for these but you know oh yeah see i took off the dirt and i like it way better without the dirt on there but i love him and you can't see the little details in the pumpkin from this because of the lighting too so just keep that in mind with some of these illustrations i meant to mention it in my other two videos but i forgot number 30 i was about to say 20. <laughs> we have slither and you know my brain can only think of one thing i'm a snake <laughs> that stupid snake hat that dude was wearing that's that's literally it like I, there's so many things i could have done but my brain was like oh you're a sneaky snake in the sneaky snake hat <laughs> and lastly the final one we're going to do number 31 risk and what is a risk to you what to me for me life is a risk you know simple as that i know this isn't quite an illustration but it is what it is and to me life is a risk you never know what you're gonna get you never know when you're gonna get it you're just rolling dice and taking a chance most of the time and that's pretty much it now i will say this i did have fun with these this inktober as you heard me through the through now three videos there are quite a few of these that i really liked and some of them that i would be really interested in making into stickers um i do have some finished pieces hopefully coming up soon i am mostly done with some of them it's been kind of hard getting back into the saddle of doing bigger pieces that take longer only because like i said um my first video i just had some stuff that came up over the past couple weekends um when i would normally do my normal stuff like continue on drawing or making videos that kind of just got placed on hold for a little bit but now we're getting back into it anyways guys i'm gonna say that's it again i'm sorry for all the rambling I didn't have a script. The bees are full force, but I was trying because this isn't really something I could script script because I'm just talking about my pieces as I went through them on my video. And anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely day, night, whatever, wherever you are in the world. And as always, keep bright my star shines and I will see you next time. Bye.